Hey, welcome to Top 5 in 5. Today we're talking about the top five ways to handle unexpected moments in life when they happen. Because let's be honest, we got plans. You got plans. You got plans today. But guess what? Life is what happens between your plans, and we can't plan for that, right? So we got to figure out how do we handle these unexpected moments. When you learn to master these moments, it'll move mountains in your life. So number one... So number one, don't run. Don't run. Hey, things get crazy. I get it. And your, your first thought is like, uh, uh, I got to get out of here. We take off, run away from situations. We find ways to remove ourselves because it hurts and it's, oh, it's difficult. So I just don't want to deal with it. Uh, and running away doesn't always look like running away. It's hanging the phone up. It's not responding to the email. It's going and doing something else, right? You got to get to the point of leaning back in and not running from the problem because the problem ain't going to run from you. So keep running towards you. That's a good one. I made that one up just now. Feels good. Hey, but keep going. Next thing is pause before the next action. You're going to typically in heated moments get emotional. And you've probably heard before when emotions high, intelligence gets low. We don't think. That's why we say things we, we want to take back because we're angry, right? The idea is you got to pause and breathe and say, this sucks. I don't like this. Or, hey, this is great. What do I do when you don't act out of emotion? You choose in that moment to pause for a brief second and go, all right. What should I do next? And it should lead you to number three. If you don't have this insight, like insight of what to do, wisdom, you seek experienced insight. You don't go talk to, to Susan and Nick who have never done anything in the realm of what you do. Don't ask people that don't have experience in this realm because they have no idea of all the extenuating circumstances that have to do with this kind of stuff. They're looking at one area and they may miss out on a big piece. So find experienced insight. If you don't have the experience from your own personal experience, go find somebody else who's done this thing, who's walked this path, ask them a question, and realize they may not tell you what you want to hear. They're going to probably tell you what, you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And that's two different kinds of things, I promise you. Now, they're going to tell you what to do. Number four is the next one. You got to prepare for different outcomes than planned. Yeah, you had this thought in your head. They tell you what to do. Okay, great. If I do this, this is going to happen. Guess what? It still may not work out that way. You got to plan for the unexpected. You got to plan for different responses. Maybe it's a troublesome situation you're battling with. And you figure, hey, if I do this, it's all of a sudden going to work out no problem. Well, you might do that thing and you might find it's still a problem, right? So how do you go back and do that? You have to plan in advance for an expectation of knowing it might still go awry. So in those next moments, moments, don't be dead set on something that's going to be great. Be prepared for the emotional journey of like, oh, this is going to suck. Now, all that leads to what I believe is the most important thing when it comes to managing these different situations you didn't expect. And here's what it is. Know your anchor. Know your anchor. If you don't know why you're anchored at a spot, it's kind of like a boat. A boat with no anchor will drift off to sea and go to areas that doesn't belong. End up no, wrecked against the side of an island somewhere. The idea is know your anchor. So even when the winds blow and someone wants to pull you out of the harbor, you stay rooted in what you're doing and you know why you got to stay here. You're just there. It could be relationship wise. It could be a, a, a health thing. It could be a, a personal thing. It could be a family thing. Know why you're doing it. Because if not, all the energy and effort we're talking about right now is pointless. It's wasted. So know your anchor. If you can navigate these five points throughout hard situations, you'll kill it. You'll move mountains in your life and have amazing things happen. So that is your top five in five ways to handle unexpected situations in your life.